Hey guys, how is it going? It's your boy Gazza9019 here and today I'm going to do a little video that is a bit different mainly because you know we're in this lockdown so there's not much else I can really do at this time uh, and even the stuff I can do it said it was scheduled to rain today so I don't want to get halfway through a job and then it ends up raining and I've got to leave the car on jack stand and whatever. but anyway let's get into the video so, as you can see by the title, it's the top 10 tips I have for YouTube or the, the advice that I can give you. By all means, me, by me doing this video, I'm not claiming that I'm a big ass channel. I've only got a thousand subs. Let's be realistic, guys. I'm just trying to help anybody out who's, you know, who's struggling with things and thinking, you know, what else can I do to improve my channel? And although I haven't got the most subscribers, I've been doing this thing for like just over 10 years, so I figure I can pass at least a little bit of knowledge. Now, when starting up a YouTube channel, uh, it, it took me many years to find this out. I figured that if I would have done this certain thing sooner, then I might be in a different situation right now. But make the videos that you want to make and make videos because you enjoy them. Don't just go into YouTube thinking, oh, I want to be I want to be a millionaire, basically. I want to make loads of money. Don't go into it like that. Go into it thinking, I like these videos. I want to make these videos and I'm not really bothered about the views. I just enjoy making these videos and if somebody else enjoys watching them, that is a bonus. The next thing is tags in your video. Make sure to use tags so that you know it sort of widens the variety of people that will watch your video. Another thing I would strongly advise against is do not clickbait, whatever you do, because it's irritating as hell and everybody on YouTube's probably had it before where they've saw a video that's clickbait and it's literally, you want to know something and then said person spends like 20 minutes just talking about his life and stuff like this and just how you should subscribe two million times over. It's just not called for and you just shouldn't really do it. I mean, you, don't get me wrong, it will probably get you views but that won't last very long and these views are, it'll kill your watch time off, you'll probably get like very short watch time. Uh, people will be skipping through your video trying to get to the point. Try and be straight to the point with your videos and don't clickbait people. Now let's say you've started up your channel. It's been maybe two, three months or whatever and you're barely getting any views. Don't get bummed out about it. You need to be consistent. Like just keep uploading, just keep thinking, you know what, I'm enjoying this. Like going back to my uh, the point that I mentioned, I forget which point it was, but you know, make sure you enjoy doing it. Don't just do it for views and money. Don't do not do it for that. Like I said, I'm not really one to speak. I haven't, I'm not exactly blown up on YouTube yet. Might never blow up. But the point is, I enjoy what I do. I really do enjoy what I do. And regardless of the views, I'd still do it anyway. This next thing sort of ties in with the tags thing I was talking about, how that can help you out with your tags. I'm not gonna show you on here, like look somewhere else if you wanna see how to do it exactly, but try and find keywords. Like say if you've, if you've got a channel that's like started off, you know, you've got a reasonable-ish following of, I don't know, like hundred, a couple of hundred or maybe even less, but just, just look at keywords. Look how people are finding your videos. Like look what words they're using and then incorporate that into the titles. I've recently been playing about with this and I've realized it is beneficial, but again, don't do it in a sort of clickbaity way where you try and cram every single word into the title. Just do it where it's, you know, it is somewhat wordy, but at the same time, it's practical. I think another thing I would say is try to be original. To a point, try and be original. I mean, because if I was saying try to be original altogether, I couldn't say anything because I make car videos and stuff like that. And how many other channels are on YouTube that do that? No, my point is be original, like be yourself. Don't try and be somebody you're not. Be how you usually are in person. Don't put on some persona, don't like... I don't, I don't know how to quite explain it, but if you're not usually a fizzy, like, you know, jazz hand sort of person, don't be that person. Just be chilled out, mellowed out and just the sort of person you really are. And again, it all always, always, always ties back to that point of make sure you enjoy videos. And you're not gonna be enjoying your videos if you're putting on some fake persona. So be yourself. 
people will enjoy it. It's just a matter of finding that audience. Next thing, you wanna put effort into the thumbnails as this is the first thing you're gonna see. As when you think about it, say if you pick up a book or a film, well then again, we don't. We don't really buy DVDs anymore, do we? They just go on Netflix. But even even so, like say you're scrolling through Netflix and you're looking at all the titles and you know the covers and that, you think it, a lot of the time it'll be something like that that strikes you, the image. So because that's the first thing that people see before they even watch the video. So that's gonna that's gonna like dictate whether they're gonna click on your video or not. Just remember to look at it from a viewer's view. You know, don't just think, oh well, you know. I know what the video is, like, this This is a helpful video, this is a good video. Don't think like that, just think, I need to draw people in with this. And again, don't be clickbait with that either. <laughs> Another thing I've learned is, don't be afraid to be disliked. There are millions and millions of people in the world and you are not going to impress each and every one of them or each and every person that clicks on your videos. People will hate, deal with it, get over it. Not everybody you meet in life is gonna like you. Some people are gonna absolutely hate your guts for no apparent reason. It's just the world, unfortunately. So just don't be afraid about it. Just go ahead, bite the bullet. If you wanna do something, you wanna make a certain video, you go for it. Don't worry about like the backlash from it, you know? I mean, if it if it triggers you that much, you're the creator, you can delete the comment. But to be honest, I find that just leaving the comment there is just better because I think, you know, why? Why should it affect me? Like, you know, that, that, that's their problem. Now let's put another scenario into place. You've made your YouTube channel. You've made videos, you've found what you like. But you've been doing these videos for a while and they're getting a bit boring. Don't be afraid to experiment. Honestly, do not be afraid to experiment. It is one of the best things I have found out to do. Because you can you can do something for so long and you you could potentially get bored of it and you need to think, well, what else is there that I enjoy? Don't look at YouTube and think, oh, what's getting views at the minute? Don't do that, don't do that, because it's, you're just another person following a trend, really, if you're doing that. So don't be afraid to experiment, like, see what works best. Just play about with a few things. Some things might go good, some things might go bad, but most of all, just make sure you enjoy whatever you're experimenting with. I think the final thing that I do want to talk about is don't be afraid to listen to advice. Like there are a lot of people that you can benefit from. Your viewers, other YouTubers, other YouTubers not, might not be, or whoever's telling you, they might not be 100% right, but from everything they tell you, even if you can take one little thing out of that, that's a gain. So don't be afraid, don't be naive and just think, oh, well, I know best, you know, because even some of the stuff I'm saying in this video, you know, like you might think, well, kind of, that's that's not it's not a hundred percent you might think that which is fair enough you know we're all people we're all entitled to an opinion but don't be naive by thinking I know everything I don't need advice from anybody I don't need to listen to anybody because I've had it before even in my comments and there's a there's a fine line between mean comments and constructive quit criticism and you just some of the constructive criticism that you see on your comments, you know, you need to take something from that. Don't just don't just think, oh, it's just a hater. No, they're, they're actually, they've gone out of their way to put something constructive in the comments. So if they're taking the time to tell you what you could potentially improve on, well, why not give it a go? Why not just experiment with it? But, you know, you can always ignore it if you want, but, like, personally, that's, that's sort of the best way I, I feel about those sort of things. And... I think is the best way to deal with them rather than just going there you don't know what you're talking about right then guys so that is it for this video and i know it's a bit different from the old sort of truck stuff i used to do and the gaming stuff and even different from the most recent car stuff but i figured i just wanted to make this video sort of to give you guys something to watch in these tough times and also you know something productive towards somebody's life if this helps like one person on youtube it's a game and again, regardless, I've enjoyed making this video, which is back to the point of what I was saying in the video. But yeah, I have enjoyed making this video. And that just goes to show, just enjoy the content you make, people. But that is it for this video, guys. And please don't forget to like, subscribe, and maybe even hit that bell icon for notifications on future uploads. But until the next time, guys, peace.